In order to appreciate the accomplishments of the Tibetan community in exile, you need to understand them in the context of the country that has been so generous. For the Westerner, stepping off the plane in India for the first time sends all the senses into overdrive. India's civilization is one of the oldest and its society one of the most spiritual in the world, dating back over 5,000 years. Its national identity has been formed through the centuries by conflict, trade and great religious teachers. By the 19th century, Britain took control of India until 1947, when Gandhi and Nehru led the Indian people to independence through what was mainly a nonviolent resistance. Today, in an area slightly larger than one-third the size of the U.S., India is the second most populated country on the planet, with 1,100,000,000 people. Officially, there are 15 languages, with Hindi as the national language. The government is a democracy formed by dozens of political parties, and English is the language for political and commercial communication. As a country emerging from the third world in a global economy, 60% of India's labor force still works in agriculture. And while it is easier to find up-to-date statistics for India's cricket teams than it is to find reliable information on its huge population, the numbers are staggering. In 2003, India's average annual per person income was $470. As recently as 2002, UNICEF reported that up to 35% of India's entire population lived on less than a dollar a day. It is estimated that 350 million Indians live below India's poverty line. count for the number of children surviving alone on India's urban streets begins at 17 million. Entering a world with a growing number of high-speed communication and economic connections, India finds itself redefining its culture and identity while it maintains its spiritual roots.
சிவர்ணம் சதர்புஜனும் பிரசன்னவரணும் ஜாயே சிவாய நமகோம் சிவாய நமகோம் சிவாய நமகோம் நம சிவாய சனி மம பதனி ச மம பதனி சதனி ஹரி கம பதனி ச சதனி ம பதனி சதனி தனி தனி மம பதனி ச சனி ச